Hi everyone, my name is Kent Brown. I'm a senior content developer with the Visual Studio content team. And today we're going to talk about Visual Studio 2017. Today we'll go through creating a project in Visual Studio 2017 based on templates. We'll move on to opening source code directly into Visual Studio, um, like from Git, from Git repository. And then we'll end up creating a basic app in Visual Studio 2017. Just take you through the end-to-end -end, uh, creating a Hello World type app. Um, the first thing we'll cover is creating a project, which we'll do based on a template. In Visual Studio, the concept of solutions and projects uh, exist. And basically, a solution is a container that can contain other containers called projects. And these projects, in turn, can contain files, which can be um, you know, source code, icons, pictures, or other things such as service references and, and other references to um, other items. So what we'll do is now is we'll move on to creating a project uh, from, a, from a template. So when you're in Visual Studio, you start out with a start page. Um, this is a nice way to get started uh, right away because you can create new projects, you can open existing projects, and even list your recent projects that you can uh, hop back into really quickly. There's also some links to some helpful um, topics online. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and create a new project. And so I'm going to just click the Create New Project link at the bottom. Alternatively, you, could, you can click from the File menu. You can go File, New, Project. Or there's a quick button on the toolbar called New Project. So anyway, it gets you to the same dialog box, which is New Project. For this one, you can see uh, that these are the various templates listed, and it lists the various languages that are available. This list of languages will, will uh, vary depending on the workloads that you've installed when you install Visual Studio. And if you have a question about what a workload is, you can check out the documentation on that. But basically, it's a package of features. So for this one, we're going to do a Visual C Sharp uh, app, and we're going to pick a Windows Universal app a blank one. You can go ahead here and change the name of the app if you want. We're just going to use the default here. You can change where it goes and the name of the solution that it creates in Visual Studio. Let's just go ahead and take the defaults for these for now though. This is a, when you create a universal project, you have to choose what version of Windows you want to target. And this one, we're just going to go ahead and take the defaults again. And it takes a few seconds for it to load up. And now the solution is loaded. We can see here the name of the solutions app one. Um, this is the project that's under that solution. You can tell by the little uh, collapse expand uh, icon here. And these are the various files and references and stuff that are contained within this project. This particular page pops up on this type of project and um, that's okay. We don't want to use it on this particular thing. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. And um, you can see here in the Solution Explorer, this is the default window that comes up when you uh, uh, create a solution. And you can browse it. So you can click things by just click the file. And if you want to see the properties of it, you can right click and do properties. And it will show you like different things that you can change like you know, if you're going to build the file, the build action you want to use, the file name, path, etc. The, the properties that you see depend on the uh, file you've selected. In addition, the Solution Explorer has a number of icons that are helpful for you. So you can um, toggle between things. You can refresh the screen, collapse all the nodes at once, um, show all files. There are some files that are hidden by default. Okay, so if you see there's one project in here already, you can all go ahead and add additional projects if you want. A quick way to do that is just to right click the solution and say add new project, or you can do an existing project or website, etc. Let's just say we want to add like a class library to this. We'll go ahead and take the defaults for that. Again, it asks for the target uh, operating system. And you can see here we have um, two different projects now, app one and class library one. These are the default names. 
The one in bold is the default project. In other words, this is the startup project that will run. And this is any others. And you can add X number of extra projects to this as you see fit. Similarly, you can add new files to a project as well. You could click, right click the, the uh, project and say add new item. Or you can add existing items. So for example, if you wanted to add, another, to add a XAML file or a new class or something like that, you can scroll through it and pick it. You can even pick text files, things like that. So in this demo, we've covered how to create a project and how to add additional projects to the solution and how to add files to those projects.